Hello, I'm Mary McNaughton, Gabrielle Jungles-Winkler, Director of the Ruth Chandler Williamson Gallery at Scripps College in Claremont, California. I'm standing here at Honold Gate, a beautiful entrance to the campus, which welcomes us to a new chapter of learning in our lives. Our staff at the Williamson Gallery is devoted to making the permanent art collection at Scripps available to Scripps and faculty, as we know that learning directly from art leaves a deep imprint. The college has an international art collection with objects that enrich our understanding of different cultures around the world. One of our goals has been to strengthen the collection of African-American art, which was taught at Scripps for many years by the extraordinary Professor Emerita Samela Lewis. Today, I'd like to tell you about the significance of Dr. Lewis and Scripps's Samela Lewis collection. To honor her, in 2007, Allison Saar, Professor Emerita Susan Rankitis, and I collaborated to create the Samela Lewis Collection of Contemporary Art. This project is an ongoing tribute to Dr. Lewis's many contributions to the field of African American art as a leading artist, curator, editor, and professor. During her years at Scripps from 1970 to 1984, Dr. Lewis expanded the art history curriculum beyond Europe to include the arts of Africa, the Caribbean, and Asia. As she said, my inspiration as an artist and art historian comes from the need to bring greater attention to the accomplishments of African-American artists. That she certainly has done. In 1976, Dr. Lewis wrote an early textbook, Art African-American, that built scholarship on Black artists. She also authored substantial monographs on exceptional sculptors Elizabeth Catlett, Richmond Barté, and Richard Hunt. While teaching at Scripps, Samela brought luminary guest speakers to campus, including Elizabeth Catlett and renowned civil rights activist, author, and poet, Dr. Maya Angelou, as well as essayist and novelist, Toni Morrison. As director of the Clark Humanities Museum at Scripps, Dr. Lewis also presented exhibitions of works by prominent Black artists, including John Outerbridge and Betty Saar, whose portraits by photographer Robert Hale you see here. In addition, Dr. Lewis also trained some stellar students. One was the late art historian Polly Neuter Roberts, who was curator of African art at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Another protege is the leading sculptor, Alison Saar, who generously donated to Scripps her powerful sculpture of Harriet Tubman. Tubman escaped slavery in the South and then returned many times at her risk to help others ride the Underground Railroad north to freedom. This work at Scripps is a smaller version of Allison's monumental Harriet Tubman sculpture in Harlem. Allison Saar also gave Scripps key works that meditate on identity. The first is a large woodcut from 2000 entitled Washtub Blues, a back view of a woman looking at her face reflected in water. The second is a bronze sculpture from 2005 called Mirror Mirror, which reveals another face, this time sculpted in a frying pan. Both works speak to the long connection between black women and domestic service. These works, including an unforgettable image called Snake Man, can be seen in a solo show entitled Mirror Mirror, The Prince of Alison Saar. This is the most comprehensive presentation to date of Allison's print work. The exhibition, Touring the US, and to be seen at Scripps, comes from the extensive collection of Jordan Schnitzer, sponsored by his family foundation. 
Dr. Lewis's artworks are in major museum collections. In addition, exhibitions at the Brooklyn Museum of Art in New York and the Hammer Museum in Los Angeles have honored her role as an artist and scholar of African-American art. At Scripps, we are grateful to Dr. Lewis for seeding the collection with her gifts of drawings and prints. One of these unforgettable works is I See You from 2009, in which she creates a chiseled face defined in bold lines that she carved into a linoleum block and printed in black ink on white paper. In this face, whose unflinching gaze looks not only at us, but into us, the artist conveys her own strength of character. Dr. Lewis also generously gave Scripps works that she collected by her artist colleagues, including such painters and sculptors as Elizabeth Catlett, Faith Ringgold, and photographer Carrie Mae Weems. For example, the lithograph, Madonna, 1982, is by superb sculptor and printmaker Elizabeth Catlett, who was Samela's teacher and mentor at Dillard University and whose images pioneered a black aesthetic. In this boldly drawn print, Faith Ringgold refers to the Underground Railroad and story quilts in her central figure of Aunt Emmy. Her words around the image tell us to look for secret signs. In Museum 2007, contemporary photographer Carrie Mae Weems projects herself and others by extension into the solitary woman who stands as an outsider before a formidable facade of a museum. Dr. Lewis also helps Scripps add works to its permanent collection by prominent Black artists Romare Bearden and Jacob Lawrence. Artist and author Bearden created distinctive images of Black life through collage, a technique of pasting and splicing colorful forms that he echoes in his 1980 lithograph called Falling Star. Painter Jacob Lawrence turned to prints after a lifetime of painting and created striking images of African-American life. In this 1975 screen print titled Harlem Street Scene, he captures the spirited music and life of Harlem, which attracted rural Southern migrants looking for new opportunity in the urban North. In addition, artists who respect Dr. Lewis have donated works to Scripps. A special gift of 30 prints came from the Brandywine Foundation from artists she's inspired. Tanya Murphy Dodd's 2010 lithograph entitled Men of Color, Two Arms, shows black soldiers who proudly served with Union forces during the Civil War to fight for the eradication of slavery. With a special fund raised in honor of Dr. Lewis, Scripps also purchased some of her works for the collection. These and many others are available now and in the future for students to research and discuss in their classes. Two recent collection editions are large prints by Dr. Lewis, which were purchased by the Scripps Collector's Circle. This acquisition was announced by Getty Marrow intern Jeremy Taylor, who worked with the Williamson Gallery during the summer of 2019. Here is Jeremy to tell you about these special prints. Good evening, everyone. It is with great pleasure that I announce the purchase of two important works by Scripps Professor Emerita Samela Lewis, Migrants and Children's Game. These Lino cuts were acquired through previous gifts to the Samela Lewis Contemporary Art Collection. In consideration of time, I will speak briefly on the arresting qualities of migrants. Seven <laughs> subjects positioned underneath a low-hanging moon and a somber mood rests deeply in their forms and faces. One of the striking qualities of this piece is the delineation between each subject. 
The cultural diversity of rural Louisiana is depicted among them using a range of abstracted and clearly defined facial features. Migrants and children's game complement another Samela Lewis Lino cut already in the collection, entitled Field, which is frequently displayed in the Hampton Room and used as a teaching tool. As an intern this past summer, I accompanied director Mary McNaughton on the trip to retrieve them from Lewis's residence in Los Angeles. It was a special day from start to finish, meeting her and her son, Pitzer College alumnus Claude Lewis. In one of many discussions that day, Lewis took the time to explain the connection between these works and her childhood in rural Louisiana. And we are grateful for these precious additions to the Samela Lewis Contemporary Art Collection. We thank Dr. Samela Lewis for the many ways she has brought attention to the extraordinary creative work of Black artists for her unstinting generosity in supporting these artists and for sharing her knowledge, particularly her understanding of the works of black artists with students, readers, and the wider public. Through her teaching, publications, and founding of galleries and museums devoted to black artists, she has deepened our understanding, increasing our awareness of the richness and complexity of the world of art. We also invite you to see more of the Samela Lewis Collection of Contemporary Art online through the Ruth Chandler Williamson Gallery webpage. Thank you. <laughs>